update on the wagon R. The new tires are in. I got these from eBay. They're 155, 65, 13s. I'm pretty sure, not even pretty sure, I'm 99.9999% sure that the rubbing is going to go away because these are 175, 70, 13s. So very big difference. I'll show you guys like once you take one of the tires off, but it's a pretty big difference. So hoping this changes a lot. Hoping it might improve my speed a little bit too. So I'll update you guys once they change the tires. I guess I'll show you guys some of the guts down here. I'm very confused on this setup. I've never seen that before. Like there's no strut. There's just a spring. I don't know much about it, but it is very comfortable. So I have to say that. And then I thought I needed new brakes and rotors, but you can see right here, my pads are full. So I don't need that. My rotors aren't the best. They're not the worst either. The only thing I would say, it's a little alarming how rusty it is. The car probably sat a while, but it's not too bad. Same for the other side. It is a 25 year old car, but look, my pads are brand new. So I'm probably just gonna buy new spark plugs and wires maybe. But I don't need really to buy rotors and pads. Not right now at least. That exhaust though, real shiny. What up? So it's the next day and I want to continue to make the wagon R better. We just added the custom plate. I got a blitz radiator cap coming very soon. And I felt like today's a pretty nice day out. I might as well just do something cool. So we're gonna paint the calipers yellow. We're gonna paint these yellow and the drums back here yellow. Because as you know, I love me a little pop of yellow. Definitely makes a Bravo a little better and I feel like the same is gonna go for the Wagon R. I'm gonna paint every single car that I own until I get a Porsche or a Ferrari that comes with yellow caliper, it's yellow. That's the way for the fame spec. So we're gonna do that real quick. I've done a lot of butter times in the video, so if you guys wanna watch that, click the corner right now. But this one's gonna be a quick little thing. Shouldn't take too long. Now that all the wheels are off, let me show you what you're gonna need for today's video. So you're gonna need some caliper paint. They only had one can of this and two cans of this. So I'm most likely just gonna use this. It's basically the same exact thing. This one really just says it's four calipers. Ideal for calipers, drums, and rotors. This one is just high temp yellow spray paint. Kind of the same exact thing. I really doubt it's gonna be a big difference. So you're gonna need two cans of that, really just a can and a half. You're gonna need some rags. You're gonna need a bunch of garbage bags unless you take out the calipers yourself, which I'm not doing. You're going to need some masking tape, and then you're definitely gonna need a wire brush and some alcohol after you're done cleaning the calipers. I'm gonna need to use this wire brush a lot because as you can see, mine are pretty janky. So I wanna make sure I get all of this nice and clean, and then I'm gonna wash it, and then we're gonna hit it with alcohol. Luckily my drums aren't too bad. So this really doesn't really need much. I'll do like a couple passes, but the drums are pretty good. Now you wanna grab some alcohol, a microfiber towel, and just dab it on here. That way we dry up all the dirt, get rid of all that, and then we can start prepping, getting ready for paint. Like I mentioned before, the proper way to do this is to remove the caliper. That way you don't have to worry about getting paint on the pads or any of the rubber pieces. But, it's a K car, I'm lazy. We're really just doing it to gain 15 horsepower. Like, I'm not trying to do it the right way. I'm just trying to do it the nice and easy, simple, cool way. All right, so I got the two rears done. This is kind of the easiest part. You just want to get some tape to cover up everything back there. Make sure you cover these guys up. Same for this side. And now to the front, what's a little more meticulous you gotta make sure you don't wanna get any paint on any of the rubber pieces. You don't want those to get deteriorated. And then you don't really want paint on here. You don't want paint inside here. You just gotta make sure that there's no paint on this rubber piece, the one back there, that guy, and then obviously none of the bits right there. So let's do this nice and slow. So here's exactly how I'm gonna leave it. I made sure to cover everything there, make sure to cover everything right there. And you just want to repeat this exact step on the other side. And then we're going to put the primer. I forgot to show this earlier. You got to make sure you have some primer first so the color really pops and sticks there for longer. So now let me repeat this on the other side. Now that all four sides are covered, let's do a nice gentle coat of this primer. Uh, this is a little more than gentle. 
<laughs> that's fine, that's fine. I tried to remove this too for like a good five minutes and it wouldn't come off. It's actually kind of annoying. The drums, you gotta make sure you go under and get all of them around because when they're spinning, it'll look real gross if the bottom isn't covered. And I would say give it about like 10 minutes in each coat. It's not really warm outside today. It's actually kind of windy. But 10 minutes should be fine. All right, this is a pretty heavy coat. <laughs> but all right, you get the point. 10 minutes, we're gonna do this again. And then we're gonna do yellow. We're gonna do at least two coats of this and three coats of yellow. And by then it should look really good. So let's let this dry and we'll get back to it. I did the first coat of yellow. This yellow is definitely a little different in comparison to the Bravo. It doesn't, it's not as like vibrant, which I'm not sure if I love or hate yet. Let's give it some more coats and see how it looks. But the caliper paint yellow is a lot more like sunshine yellow. This is a little like off yellow if the camera's picking it up. But let's do the second coat. Okay, quick little update. A bunch of fun things just happened. So I jumped the compressor with a bobby pin, turned the car on, added some Freon, and kicked in right away. AC blows ice cold, which I love. It's still kind of cold right now in New York, but I'd rather get it working now than later. I did three coats so far. You really only need one can, to be honest. But I did three coats so far. Coming along very nice. And then lastly, shout out to the homie Michael, who also has a Wagonar. Look at this fun little cork. There's a drawer here. What is going on with this Wagonar? So you have a drawer here, and then you have the cool little passenger grocery basket on this side. I think I've really got to find another one of these. A stick, all-wheel drive turbo model, and then I could really keep it forever. Well, maybe not forever, but what? I love this thing. I'm gonna do one last coat and then I'm gonna let this sit overnight. Next, we're going to, like I mentioned, maybe wrap it. I kinda wanna get some LED headlights. I might put some Baja fog lights right here or those other fog lights that I bought. And we'll see, bunch of fun things coming soon. Oh yeah, we gotta paint this too. Once the golden weekend or whatever that thing is called in Japan, shout out to you guys. Once that's over, I wanna repaint this silver, paint this either the same color as the car or maybe black or yellow, something like that. Buy a new battery because I feel like I need one. I wanna make an intake with a nice little filter there. I think it'll breathe better. And that's pretty much it for the wagon R. I mean, that's a lot of things, but catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. Can't wait for this to dry. Can't wait to show you what it looks like. And today has been very, very fun. So it's the next day and the paint has been drying overnight. In my opinion, this is one of the most simplest, easiest mods you could do. And it doesn't really matter how it looks. Like I know the calipers aren't going to look perfect, but it's going to look a lot better. And it's really just going to work out exactly how I want it to be. So let me start taking this paint off. And you guys can see that there's going to be some small imperfections. If you want show car quality, then obviously do it the right way. Take the calipers off. But for me... I'm kind of just doing it for style points and to gain some horsepower, so little imperfections are not really going to bother me. So here's how it looks. The backs are always going to look pretty flawless. Not really a lot of areas you can mess up. The fronts though, I'm going to get some paint thinner and some sandpaper just to like clean up right there, right there. And maybe like right there pretty much it but besides that I mean the rims are really gonna cover all that anyway but like I mentioned I would be able to get like a better cover right there if I had the caliper off but everywhere else is pretty nice I can't really complain only got a little bit of yellow right there and then same for this side a little bit of paint thinner some sandpaper clean off the pad but besides that can't complain now let's get the rims on and see how it really looks
and there you have it look at that you can't even see the imperfections looks pretty good though it's a nice pop color i think i'm gonna wrap the car candy red so i'm gonna keep it red in the same family so like when you open the doors and everything it still looks red because i don't want to wrap it like gray and then when you open it all oh, this is red i think that's pretty tacky but probably gonna end the video right here very happy with the results catch you guys in the next one peace